Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarice channel. Thank you all for clicking. This is episode 122 on Mr. Bright project. Alright, so it's been a long week. I'm super tired, but I want to make sure I get this video done, especially on my project. I think I have held a lot of people back. They've not seen a lot of my progress made, I think, from last year up until now. So I want to make sure I give all the backlog videos so that we get to the current state of the house. My house was designed by Jonathan Tete. Jonathan is an architect. I grew up with Jonathan in the same house. Okay, Jonathan came to stay in a house. We are like brothers, so I know him very well. So once you're talking to Jonathan, you're not talking to a stranger. You are talking to my brother as well. From a different mother, but he's my brother. Okay, they have a very huge company. So contact Jonathan for any of the designs. So literally, I have to break down the fence wall because I have installed, I have installed the roller shutter. The roller shutter have been installed. And for that matter, it is only right that I break down the fence wall. So as you can see, the fence wall has been broken down. Uh, we're going to decorate this whole place. So my shop will be ready and that of my wife will also be ready. And we're going to start some business. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start some business. It is very, very important. It's that I'm going to do my pharmacy shop. My wife is going to do her groceries. Oh, um, if there's in case there's a change of mind, yes, we we'll definitely come up with something so that we can help the community within that area. We should be able to serve that community and we should be able to provide them things that they need. You understand, and that makes it unique. You need to make sure you check around you in your neighborhood and present something that is not common and something that they will need constantly. You understand all right so the roller shutter came at four thousand each okay yes it came at four thousand each yes so it is very important even though it could have been cheaper you understand it would have been cheaper but then um i guess it's a lesson learned here i have my monitor um installed we're just doing a testing and mr ampedu is giving me a glimpse of all the cameras they are all working um they are wi-fi connected wherever you are in the world i can view my house and see what is happening in the house every day you understand i can see what is happening in the house every day all i have to do is just log on once i get home and see what is happening so i told mr ampedu to remove where the black boss is because I don't like the location of the black boss yes literally I don't like the location so he's gonna change that as well in the meantime Abdul is working on the wardrobes and that of the yeah the yeah the wardrobes and the bathroom cabinets okay again Mr. Ampedu is working on my gate and here they've installed the um, um, automatic gate motor so they are doing a testing now to see if everything is okay so voila it is working yes so once he's done testing all of this that is the procedure of uh, mr ampedu okay and then he will hand over everything to you so i asked uh, my guy in the house to create some steps to make it easy you know to enter here it's going to be a flower pot I want to create a flower pot right here okay to make sure it looks beautiful so one flower pot here and one over there okay right in the corner okay and then I'm gonna create another one also back here in the corner I'm gonna create another flower pot right here so just something very small but it looks beautiful yeah so it is exactly what I want to do mm. <laughs> it's been a long journey sometimes when I go back and I watch how I started 
and where I've got into. Man, it amazes me. I ask myself, do you know how much money you have invested into this property? You could just chill with this money. But after chilling, what else? It's just blown into thin air. But this is a legacy. This is an investment, a generational investment. I am proud of myself. I am so proud of myself. Yeah. So I have taken time. I have invested, you know, my time, energy, all into this. So my house is looking beautiful. Day in, day out, something is happening. Here I'm going to have the video intercom. It has already been installed, but I asked them to cover it up. You understand? So I have two screens, one on the main gate and one on the smaller gate. So should anybody get near the gate, I should be able to see who you are and talk to you before I even come out to open the gate. So here I told Mr. Ampedu, please remove the black box from the master bedroom and take it to the lobby of the master bedroom because here if i'm sleeping on the bed i don't want to see any black boss honestly i don't want to see any black boss in the room so the idea is to get rid of it remove it take it to the lobby here i have moses to design these beautiful frameworks on the wall okay these are all frameworks or we say frame design pop frame designs okay so moses is, is is a wonderful guy very humble his team is hard working and i enjoy working with him in case you need the services of moses please let me know okay his number has already popped up on the screen you can contact moses that is moses's number on the screen and he has a youtube channel called the pop tips and ideas okay go to pop tips and ideas on the youtube space and subscribe to his channel and help him to grow so this is going to be a huge flower pot very nice one okay a very nice one. i'm going to laminate inside and get some a very nice flower so that we don't have to water it continuously it's going to stay in a plastic bowl and then we'll place it inside. We're not going to plant the flowers directly into the soil. No. It's going to be in a plastic bowl and then we we'll place it inside. Because of mold, you know, water dampness, we don't do those things anymore. Where gone are the days you plant flowers by your building and you pour water and pour water and pour water. And there's no dampness. But now, for some reason, the cement, I don't know if the problem is from the cement. The, plab, the problem is from the paint, okay, the sand that we are using. All these contribute to these molds, you understand? But gone are the days, I think in my father's house, we, we used to have flowers everywhere around the building. And we pour water constantly, but it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything. Maybe because of where we are located, the soil is good, so maybe... My analysis may be wrong though. So here we are trying to protect the rod from vehicle or vehicular movement. So in case a vehicle passes over, it shouldn't damage the, the, the pipe that the gate is running on. My voice is getting choked. I don't know what is wrong with my voice. So the guy in my house is really good. He does all the works and I give him money. Constantly I have to pay him, make sure that he's okay because he's got wife and kids. So I want to make sure he's happy and whatever he's doing, he dedicate his time and he's put his heart and mind to it so that it looks beautiful at the end of the day. So what do you think? Lovely steps, okay. I think it's a little bit high, but we're going to adjust it with a screening okay yeah the step is a little bit higher so we're going to adjust it with the screed so that it becomes uniform you don't have to climb like you you're, you're climbing a mountain you understand because we don't want to and come in between the road i want to stay within the perimeter of my fence wall because the moment i exceed that municipality will come and disturb me 
so I'm just trying to stay within the perimeter of the fence wall so here Mr. Ampedu and his team came and they are removing the black box because I told them I don't want to see the black box in the master bedroom there's a lobby when you're coming towards my master bedroom there's a corridor in that corridor he can place the black box right there so that when I'm sleeping in the room on the bed and I raise my head all I want to see is the TV and then the monitor you understand that's what I want to see so behind this beam I told him to place it here okay so this is the corridor leading to the master bedroom so I asked him to place it in that corridor okay so when you enter you see how he's moving so this is the corridor leading to the master bedroom on the top you see that top just behind the beam he can place it there so it is hidden in the stand it's not in my eyes where where he placed it earlier on is just thrown into my eyes you understand sometimes you need people with certain iq levels yes yeah, so i told him now remove it come and put it here this side is the best place to keep it because the reason is you want to protect your data as well so the black box is not supposed to be anywhere in the public domain no it should be private that's why in most cases people design a data room just like an electrical room they design a data room and they keep these things private you understand so in our case we don't have a data room but we can still have our privacy and that is exactly what mr Ampedu is doing specialized in cctv cameras you know um, video intercoms um, car tracker and all of that okay if you love this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and click the like button okay yes in case you need my services please write to me send me a whatsapp and i'll whatsapp call you or video call you from me to you shalom god bless you wherever you are bye, -bye.